Okay, anybody who's growing garlic will need to know this at some point. It's scape season, and we've got scapes. They look like this. And here's another one. And uh, let's see. There's another one, but it's just poking out. Mm, right there. So, this one here is starting to curl as they'll start like curling around in a real nice tight circle like that before they stand up straight again and then make bulbils. But if you want to have just the head, you're going to need to grab it down here and pull sort of steady like you would for a weed. goes. And you'll notice this, that it left a hole where this was. And this is what I got. A full piece. Now sometimes we pull them and without a steady hand it might not end up taking the whole thing. Like that, see? That's okay. That's still just not going to form this tip here into a big set of bull bills. And so there were university studies that said that it'll take 12% less uh, energy from the plant itself to take off the uh, scape. But if you leave it on, it's only 12% more energy, so you'll have a slightly smaller bulb, and you'll end up with overall a bigger bulb just a bit. But you end up with bow bills if you leave them on. And bow bills are a lot of fun if you like to grow things. And I do. So sometimes I leave a few of them on. Most of these I'm pulling off. But we're going to leave some of them on. Not in this row particularly, but some of them are going to be left on so that they can mature and become a little sort of seed. Sort of like a seed. It's not a seed, but like a seed. It's like a mini bulb so that we can put them together and grow them small. Now, if you're interested, you take those little teensy seeds that you find inside them, and I've planted some in the back here, and they grow into small garlic to start. And this is what they look like. And they're not going to end up with any kind of bulbil or scape or anything like that this year because they're just babies. But underneath, you'll see that they're actually pretty huge. Well, not huge. They're small, but these particular ones are going to be... Here, let's have a look. You can see it's making a little bulb. You put that in the ground a second year and it's going to grow very big actually. And I've actually planted some garlic bulbils, or yeah, bulbils, second year bulbils, right along down in here. And they don't need much light, so I've just let them kind of go. There they are. There's one. And there's, let's see here. We've got them in here just kind of taking up space, but not a lot of photosynthesis. Okay, so here's one, here's two, three. For. And they're just taking up a bit of light, not much, but I'm not needing them to be huge. This is the spring garlic, and that's garlic that I planted in the spring. It's probably not going to get escape either, though it might. And if that's the case, we just pull it out, and that's fine. But you can see a direct difference, though, between the ones that I planted in the fall and the ones that I planted. This is the spring, sorry. These are the spring, and these are the fall, where it's got a scape now. And we just, like I say, sort of hold it just so, and pull it out as far as you can, and you end up with a little scape. All right, and that's about all I have to say about that. There's probably more, but I'll leave that for more later. Any questions, comments, let me know.